Welcome back. I'm Mike Renner alongside Sam Moms, and today we're talking about Dallas Cowboys cornerback Byron Jones, the number one graded cornerback in the NFL through the first four weeks of football. Didn't even play cornerback last year, if you'll remember. Moved from safety to corner this year, but he looks like he looks like the best cornerback in the NFL there. Yeah, he has been through the first four weeks. He has an overall PFF grade of 90.6, which is eight and a half points higher than any other corner in the league. Number two is Patrick Peterson. So yeah. it gives you an indication he's in some pretty illustrious company, actually exceeding that illustrious company. It's interesting, though, he was a college cornerback who the Cowboys didn't really know what to do with when they drafted. He was this spectacular athlete, blew up the combine, jumped out of the building, had these incredible workout numbers. And, you know, as a rookie, they played him all over the formation, safety, slot, out wide. They just kind of moved him all over trying to figure out where he fit best. Years two and three, it was a lot of safety, a lot of covering tight ends in the slot. But this year, it's been a complete change. They moved him to a perimeter cornerback. They've just let him be a, a, a real boundary cornerback, and he's been playing out of his skin. Yeah, he's only allowed seven catches all season long on 16 targets for 51 yards. And I thought he's always had the skills to yeah. play cornerback. They kind of just needed him at safety there early on in his career, and now they needed him at corner. And He's filling in there incredibly well, and I think he, his skill set in terms of what he can do in press man coverage, being a bigger corner, has really shown there, and like you mentioned, plays press a lot. And I think they're now playing that scheme that really suits that kind of build for a cornerback, that Richard Sherman, long, lanky press, outside, cover three, cover one type of corner. That's what they're running now in Dallas. That's where he's really good. He lines up in press coverage this season almost all the time, 76% of his snaps this year in press coverage. When he's been in press coverage, he's allowing 31% of the passes thrown his way to be caught. He's only given up two first downs through four weeks of the season. He's had two uh, forced incompletions, and the pass rating's given up, Mike. It's lower than just throwing the ball at the dirt every single time. It's your play. favorite, favorite stat, favorite as always. Stat. But I think people are now sleeping on this Dallas defense because they didn't, they didn't think Byron Jones would be the shutdown cornerback yeah. on the outside. Now their secondary, while the safety position may have taken a little hit with him moving to corner, cornerback position looks really solid there. It really does. I mean, he is the guy that has the potential. It's like adding a first-round shutdown cornerback. You know, yeah. you see the impact Marshall and Lattimore had a year ago in New Orleans, the impact Denzel Ward is having in Cleveland. Dallas have got that by just moving a guy from safety to cornerback, and it, it turns out that's where he should have been all along, at least according to how well he's playing. Yeah, and you pair that with a formidable pass rush, and Dallas is one of the better defenses in the NFL now. Yeah. So there you have it, Byron Jones playing out of his mind, and no reason to think it will stop anytime soon. Make sure to go to the PFF YouTube channel and check out all our other videos.